A 14,000 kilometre underwater fibre optic cable has been anchored in Sydney. The cable will provide Australia with the fastest and largest link to the United States. The Hawaii Trans-Pacific submarine cable finally emerged through a manhole after a complicated operation. The ship was anchored around a kilometre off Coogee Beach, with around 7,500 kilometres worth of cable on board. Divers swam the cable to a pull wire, where it was attached and the cable then dragged through a 10 centimetre wide tunnel under Neptune Park before it finally emerged. On the other side uh, of the ocean in the United States, uh, another ship uh, has also started its uh, cable installation from uh, Oregon. Uh, that was uh, started last month and the ship is currently burying the cable and installing the cable down to Hawaii and then it will interconnect with the cable coming from Australia. The project will cost more than $450 million with the system hopefully functioning by next June. The submarine cable is Australia's third link to the United States but this fibre optic cable has the latest technology and the biggest capacity. The Capacity consumption increases 40% uh, per year in Australia, so there is a need for additional capacity. It's 14 years since uh, the last uh, submarine cable was installed. Once the cable has been secured, the vessel will begin moving, laying the cable as it travels around 2,000 kilometres towards a branching unit off Norfolk Island. With extra competition in the market, Hawaii hopes the consumer will see cheaper prices. The company also says it's a vital system to ensure Australia stays connected if one of the other cables was to break. We are not selling capacity directly to the consumer, but we are selling it to uh, the large users, such as a telecommunication company or a content provider, like uh, one of our major customers is Amazon. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News, Sydney. Returning now to the Queensland election campaign, where